Hi, my name is Brendan. I am an English, uh, among other, language teacher. And uh, I'm here because I want to take you on a little journey. I want to give you a sort of English class that's different from what you might be used to. Today, we're going to look at a few different things. First, we'll talk about me, we'll learn a, different, a few things about each other. And then I want to take you through a movie class, a film class. So if it's okay with you, let's get to it. So like I said, my name is Brendan, I'll write it here. Brendan, I am 27, if I remember correctly, yeah, <laughs> 27 years old. And my question is, can you guess? Can you guess where I come from? Guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you guess where I come from? Now, if we take a look at, we listen to my accent a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. So he's not very French. Huh? <laughs> he's not very. He's not very French. He's he has kind of a ra 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 accent. So where could that be? Where do you think that could be? Well, we can take a look. We're going to guess. Uh, we think about already. My first, my native language is English. So we think of English speaking countries. What are some English speaking countries already? I can imagine you're screaming at your screen like Dora the Explorer, USA, England, Australia. <laughs> But we we'll, we'll take a look at this together. So, like you said, there's USA, there's the UK, um, there's also Ireland as well. Up uh, there is Australia. I mean, there are so 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 many. Australia. I should just put a U S. But it's okay. Australia. There are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different ones. We have Sri Lanka as well. It's a native English speaking country. Sri Lanka, there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots we can make about Nigeria. There are a lot south to south up Nigeria. We have South, uh, south Africa here as well, South Africa. Lots and lots and lots of different countries that speak English natively. And I'll put the word here. And that's not a word that we, we normally hear, native native someone who is from that country and someone who speaks for example i speak english natively why because i come from a place that speaks english as one of the main languages so i will uh, give you the answer <laughs> i come from the usa i am from up i'm from the usa I'll share, I'll show you a little bit here. So here we have the USA, here we have the United States. Now, one thing, well, another question I have for you, and I'll put it, I'll put it also here on a little, a little board, is can you guess, I'll put this here, can you guess which state I come from? Which state? So as we know, the US is divided, is divided into lots of different states, 50 to be exact, at least for now, 50 different states. All of these different states. Now the question, can you guess, can you imagine, <laughs> good luck, which state I come from? Uh, to be honest, if you don't come from the US, if you haven't been, if you have not gone to the US, it's a bit difficult to, to guess. But I will give you a clue. I will give you a clue. That's our key word for today is a clue. Up, a clue. C L U E. If you can't, I'm writing it because I can't read it. So if I can't read it, <laughs> I know it might be difficult for you as well. So clue. Can you can you think of uh, I will give you a a clue. Another word for clue can be a hint. Another word for hint can be an a small, small, small guess, a small thing that helps you to understand where I come from. So a, a clue is I come from a place 
that is close to Washington, D.C. So Washington, D.C. is the capital. I come from a place that is close to Washington, D.C. It's one clue. Another clue, clue is I come from the east of the U.S. So I'm, I'm an eastern boy. So here we can already go to the east. And uh, <laughs> the, the map kind of helps you here. We have Washington here. I come from Virginia. I come from Virginia. I'm in this region. So we'll go back. Now, if this were a normal class, we would talk a little bit about where, you know, what exactly clue means in your language, what connections we can make to your language. But since it's just me, it's only me, <laughs> I'm talking to myself. This is, uh, I will let you figure this out for yourself. But imagine this is our keyword for today. So if we imagine, for example, uh, 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 whoop. Let's say this is this is you. Ah, uh, let's go back. Let's say this is you. And your objective, your goal is to get to is to arrive at this X. You have different steps to get to this X, but there are also different clues, different aids, different pieces of help that can help you to get from here, the point A, from point A to the X, to your objective, the clues, things that help you, give you a little bit of advice, a little bit of help to get you to the next step. So clue, that's the key word. We're gonna move on from that, move on to something different. I wanna ask you about the word cinema. When we talk about cinema, we hear cinema. It's, it's, oh, I love cinema. I don't know about you if you like cinema or not, but cinema is, oh, it's such a beautiful way to learn a language. Not only, not only, not only is it beautiful, it's just so much fun. Yeah, there's so much you can do with it. So when we talk about cinema, I'm wondering what keywords, what are some ideas that pop into your head? What are some, some words, some ideas, maybe some expressions, maybe some films that, that come to your mind? So I'll give you a few seconds to, to take a look at this as I'm sitting here <laughs> drawing. Apparently, this is what teaching, this is what my teaching has become. I am a full-time drawer of what we call um, excuse me, mind maps. I love mind maps. Mind map. M it's an M right there. M-I-N-D M-A-P. So take a second. Cinema. Take a second and just write down all the things, all the words, the ideas, the, um, the movies, anything that comes to your mind when we talk about cinema. I'll also do some things here. Let me make this a little bigger. So I'll stop, I'll keep going with here because this is just a video, so I'll keep going. Uh, if, you, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video, write a few other things, then we can come back and then press play again once you're ready. So here are some of the things that I've thought of. Of course, the word movies, films, the idea is basically the thing that makes up cinema, or the movies itself. I also thought of this idea of movie genres. I don't know if you've heard of this word before, genre. Sort of like putting the word John plus Ra. <laughs> Ra. <laughs> genre put together. It's a French word. It's a genre is the same thing as saying the type or types of film. When we think about film genres, uh, what are some ideas that you come up with? For me, I think of horror because, of course, we're in October right now. So, horror films, another word we have are a thriller. Films. The difference here being this is more about gore, about blood, whereas this is more about 
suspense, something that, that makes you sit on the edge of your seat, shaking. <laughs> you have nightmares, you're trying to sleep and you have uh, nightmares at night, suspense, thriller, horror, these kind of films. Uh, another genre could be action. When we talk about Hollywood, we're a lot of times talking about action. Um, <laughs> uh, we have romance, of course. Yeah, I I don't know about you, but I am a romantic. I am a, uh, how do we call that? I am a, um, I am a, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. But a person who is, I'm, ah, here we go, here we go. Took some time. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'll put this here. This is one of our, it's going to be one of our expressions for today. I am a hope, hopeless romantic in French and fleur bleu. I'm a hopeless romantic. It's someone who is, as someone who is so, who loves, loves so much that, they can't think of anything else, honestly. It's, it's like, it's as if every, you know, when they fall in love, when they see something lovely or lovely or loving, it's, it becomes, it becomes their life. Yeah. They're not obsessed with it, but you know, they love, 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 love. They love, 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 love. Well, they love, love. There we go. <laughs> so um, for me, I, I don't like romance, romance films. But I am a hopeless romantic. So every now and then, a, a romance film is, is not bad. Uh, we also have the word comedies, for example. Now, notice that if you are a French speaker, comedy is not exactly the same thing. So comedy in English is anything that makes you, it's a film that makes you laugh. <laughs> like I like to do every five seconds is laugh. So comedy is a great uh, We can keep going on with that. I mean, there's so many, so many genres that we can talk about. We keep going. Uh, some other things. I don't know if you know about maybe the person who is in charge of the film, the person who is responsible, the person who directs the film. But this year, the person who directs the film, it's called the film. Oh, not the film. Uh, the film is the film director. Director. There we go. The film director. I'll put this, I'll make this a little bit bigger so that we all can see it as well finally figured out how to do it <laughs> welcome to the 21st century brendan so we have a person who directs the film as the film director we also have other personnel other personnel if i can move my head other personnel are people who work we can say personnel we can say staff we can say people who work for the film we can say the the, um, the team basically we also have um, the producer, for example, the person who puts the film together, the producer. We have um, the actors and actresses, of course, actors and actresses. I will say that nowadays we don't use, uh, we, we still use this term, actresses, of course, but most of the time we're, we'll put actors and, and male, female, non-binary all together into the same uh, into the same category of actors rather than actors and actresses. Uh, we have other, we have lots of, we have the script. I'll move my head over here so you can actually see. <laughs> we have the script writers, writer or writers, the people who write all the dialogue, all of the, the all of the things, all the events that happen, all the actions, all of the scripts. So they write the script for the film for the movie the movie and there are lots of other things we can talk about with cinema we can talk about cinema it's it's very it's very emotional sometimes there are some there are some films some movies that touch our emotions that it's it's almost as if the film comes into our body and just touches the the core the core of our emotions so Maybe we cry, maybe we laugh, maybe we get angry, maybe we get suspenseful, maybe we get a little bit scared. You know, there are lots of emotions that can come out, depending on the film, of course. Uh, we've talked a little bit, uh, a few minutes ago, we talked about Hollywood films. films. We can also talk about, for example, indie films. These are more lower cost films 
that are more based around a certain theme. So let's say there's a film that that wants to talk about, um, I can give you an example. I only have Turkish films in my head, but maybe there's a film that, that wants to talk about a certain issue, a certain problem. So a film, a uh, film that that talks about, that discusses a certain issue or a problem. Let's say that there is a, for example, in France, there's a big problem with homelessness right now. So let's say there is a film director that wants to create a film, an indie film, taught that that portrays, that shows um, this this issue, this issue of homelessness, having no home, an indie film. Another thing we can talk about is we can also talk about art films. It's, it's it's very similar. Art films. I know one of my favorite favorite favorite. It's a very strange film, but I really like this film. Zumurta. It's a Turkish film that that it's very very slow. I will be honest, but it's a film that really brings to light lots of issues in in a certain society. And uh, I'll, I'll let you watch it and see it for yourself. So. I'm sure there are other things that you have come up with, other ideas. What I want to know is if you have other ideas, please let me know below in the comments and let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything that I missed, which I, I hope there is, yeah. <laughs> I know cinema is not only this, so be sure to let me know in the comments. So moving on to cinema. The reason that we're talking about cinema today is because I want to show you a film. I want to show you a very nice film. I really like this film called The Clue. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection between what we did and, <laughs> and what we're doing now. The Clue. It's one of my favorite, 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 favorite short films. And I can put this here. So we have feature length films. These are more going to be the, these are going to be the long films. And we also have short films or we can also call them we can also call them featurettes for example uh let me make this a little bigger for all of you who have <laughs> sight problems like me <laughs> there we go that's easier that's easier so we have feature length films as well as short films here today we're going to be talking about short films we're going to be watching a short film called the clue like i said so all I want to do is we'll get, it, it'll be a very easy class. Take, we'll take a look at the film. I'll stop every few minutes, ask a question. We'll talk about a few things, talk about vocabulary. But the goal is just to enjoy a film and see where we go with it, OK? <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where I'm going with this, but I'm sure that together we'll find a way. So let's go. All right, I will put myself down here. And let's watch it. All right. So from the very first image, I'll make it bigger. From the very first image, what do we see? few seconds to think about some of the things that you see. For me, I see, we see a woman. Yeah, okay. She seems, she's eating breakfast. Okay, she's eating breakfast. There's a window. There's a, there are a few pieces of furniture. I'll go ahead and put this over here. We'll talk about what we see. Already, like we said, like we said, that we see a woman, okay. You say woman. What is the, the woman was? The woman is a woman is eating breakfast now. She's eating breakfast now. We can say if, if we want to add that, it's not necessary. Let's go back. So she's eating breakfast. What is she eating? Aha. Uh -huh. What is she eating? Well, let's see what we have right here. Here we have a some sort of utensil. There are a few utensils that we, I'll put the word here, utensil. 
utensil or tools that we use for eating. Here. Tools we use for eating utensil. Let's take a look. We have three, uh, <laughs> well, there are lots of utensils actually, but we have three main ones. Nope. Oh. I really hope you like my drawing skills because I am ready for this. I am so excited to draw for you. <laughs> there, that's my, there we go. That's, there we go. It kind of looks like a rake, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We're doing our best. Up, and we'll make the, the big one here. There we go. So there are three utensils here. Let's see if we can go one by one. I will start with uh, this one, just because it is the most fun one to write. Oh, not, not that. It is the most fun one to write. Now, how do you say that? Oh, good luck. Good luck. Something special. This word, I wonder if any of you know how to say this word. Be careful with the first two. Careful the first two. Their words, if I ask the question, for example, do you know how to how to say this? Do you know how to say this? Let's take a look. <laughs> have... Knife. Knife. I don't know if this is what you had come up with, but knife. So the K is completely silent. Completely silent. I'll take this back because it's not really necessary for us to for me to undo that, but knife. Knife. Here we have a, a very sad, sad fort. Uh, be careful with the pronunciation here. Huh? This can it can mean something completely different if you pronounce this incorrectly. It's funny, so don't worry if you make a mistake. It's okay. But when you say f, f, here we have the first two, the first, the first part and the last part. Now the middle part is the most important, yeah? <laughs> the middle part is the most important. Or, or. So imagine you're just saying the word or in between. Fork. It's a lot different than the other word that I know that you know. <laughs> Fork. And uh, the last one we have here is a spoon. Spoon. So here, if we take a look, what, what utensil is she using? Uh, it's likely to be a it's likely to be a spoon here because she's eating cereal. She's eating cereal. My question here, what kind of what is this right here? Okay, here I'm not gonna draw it for you, don't worry. <laughs> but here we have it's it's very easy if you speak French, a bowl. Oh, 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 a bowl. But the the sound letter here. Just say the letter O. Bowl. 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 That's a nice, that's a nice one. So listen, we've talked about what she's eaten. She's we've talked about what she's doing. We've talked about her a little bit. It does this woman look like someone you would want to be friends with? Is this someone who has well, we'll start off by saying, is this someone who has an, an exciting life? Is this someone who has an amazing life? Amazing, phenomenal, great, super. I don't know. I <laughs> I hesitate a second to think about the say exciting. And if you take a look at the furniture, the furniture, there are several there are several pieces of furniture. Pieces of furniture. Now be careful with the word furniture. Furniture, with then s. No, 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 no. Uh, does not exist. Does not exist. At least not. At least not as as for today. Maybe in the future. Maybe we when we decide that it makes more sense. <laughs> but for now, this does not exist. This, this does not ex exist. So instead, you have to use something like pieces of furniture. Put it here. Pieces of furniture. So we have one piece of furniture, two pieces of furniture, three pieces of furniture, all to describe the number of furniture. And still furniture in the singular furniture. Uh, how is the furniture? I mean, take a look. We have like you. There's a a small cupboard. Here, I'll put it here. So the small 
cover. Now, of course, the words may change based on what kind of English you are learning, but it, to be honest, it doesn't really matter too much. It's you can you can be understood no matter what word you use, because in any case, you will have you can show your with your hands. You can describe it. Oh, it's it's kind of long. You put bowls and spoons and forks in it. Ah, cupboard. Okay, that makes sense. You know, there are other ways that you there are ways that you can um, make yourself make yourself be understood. So no worries if you use different words. So there is the cupboard here. It looks kind of empty. Uh, there is barely any furniture. There's nothing. It's nothing. There's a table, a very sad table, a very sad chair, but there's nothing there. It's it's <laughs> now what what kind of day? What what part of the day is it? As we see in the window that it's it's sunny outside. It's sunny, so we think it's probably daytime. Okay. Do you think it's during the day? Do you think it's in the morning? Based on what she is wearing, and based on her hair a little bit, maybe maybe she took a shower. Maybe she just woke up. I, I know when I wake up, I love to have my, what do we call this? So I am not going to draw, but let's just say it's, it's there we go. <laughs> That's what she's wearing. And I'll put the little sleeves here. There we go. These are the, these are the sleeves. So uh, one sleeve, two sleeves. Hmm. Oh, what do we call this? This little thing that we put on in the morning. I'll put this down like this. There we go. Now, there are two things you have to understand. It's, it's a two-part word. There are two things that, that help you to understand what it is. Now, first we can talk about what it looks like. It's kind of the same longer, it's not kind of the same length as a dress, or we can even say a, a robe. Kind of the same thing as a dress. Another word for dress could be a robe. A robe has a very, it's very long, it's, it, it kind of has the same proportions, the same sizes as a dress. Now, another question is, where, in which room of the house do you put this on? Some people might say, oh, that's the bedroom. Okay, maybe. But let's say she just finished her shower. Where do you take a shower? Here, we're talking about the bathroom. Bathroom. And so to help you to figure help you figure out what this is, it's a bath bathrobe. Bath robe. Bathrobe. So here she's wearing a bathrobe. What color is the bathrobe? It's a very easy question. It's a blue bathrobe. We can even say a light blue. I don't have anything here that's blue. Here I have this uh <laughs> here we have blue. And here. It's not the same kind of blue. This blue is a little bit lighter, so a light blue. Anyway, <laughs> coming back to the movie, coming back to the movie. It seems she has a very simple house, you know, a very simple, simple, simple life. It's not very exciting. Um, and my question to you is, is this someone that you would want to be friends with? I don't know. If you're interested in telling me more, go ahead and tell me in the comments why or why not. Why would you like to be friends with this person? Why not? Let's keep going. Now we'll go back because this was the this was the movie poster of the film. This is when you look up the film on YouTube or anything, this is the, the poster that comes up. So what do we see here? <laughs> she doesn't seem to have the most, the happiest <laughs> lifestyle. Already we see this, do you remember what this was called? The room and what it looks like, the bath robe, bathrobe. The bathrobe here is blue. In cinema and in, in literature, it's something normally sad, calming, 
There are lots of different meanings, but it's not always the happiest. It's not the happiest. What do we have in the back here? Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> now, this is a question I ask students a lot. And there are many who can tell me what, that, what it is. So I'll give you a little hint here. Give you a little bit of a hint. There's this and there's this. What is this one, for example? What is that? I will say both of these words are very short. Both of these words start with the letter P. P and P. To help you out. Aha! Take a look. Here we have a pan. We can even say it like that, a P-A-P-A-N. And here we have a pot, P-O, make this capital, P-O-T, -E, P-O-T. So you see, the shape of the pan helps you to remember that it's an A, and pan. The shape of the pot helps you to remember it's an O, and then the N and a T looks like pot. So if that helps, great. Keep going. So she has two uh, pans in the back. Uh, and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a tomato, an apple. But what about this? What about this beautiful, amazing, glorious, phenomenal plant that is dead? <laughs> it's not, it's not, not a really happy picture here. What is wrong with this plant? What does this plant need? So a lot of people will say maybe this plant needs water. So the verb here, what do we say when we want to give water to the plant? It's very, it's actually very simple. Water the plant. Isn't that cool? Water the plant. It means to give water to the plant. To for example, I'm going to be careful because I have electronics here. <laughs> water, water. I give water to the plants. I water the plants. Now, if you were born on a, well, I can't say I was really born on a farm, but near a farm like me, um, you might have some cows, right? <laughs> God, I love teaching English. So imagine you have cows here, okay? Now, when you're trying to do this and to get milk from the cows or from the goats, for example. What is that called? Don't think too hard because it's just the same. To milk the cows. Water the plants, milk the cows, they're verbs and nouns. So look at that. English is so easy and you are doing it. You are doing it. So let's keep going. So like we said, we need to, or she needs to water the plant, exactly. Which room is she in? And if we know this, here she's in the, she is in the kitchen. And what is she doing right now? What is she doing? So maybe some people might say she, she washes her hands. Okay. Okay. If you say she washes her hands, what I understand is she washes her, her hands every day. Every day, every day, every day she washes her hands. But that wasn't my question. That was not my question. My question is, my question was, excuse me, what is she doing now? What is she doing now? There we go. Now. <laughs> right now, she, we take the same form. She is washing her hands. I'll ask you more questions later on, and we'll see if we can find the clue moving forward. So she's washing her hands now. We'll watch, we'll watch a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What is she doing now? I wonder if you know this. What is she doing now? 
She is, so she takes her pills, oh, excuse me, her pills, her medicine. Let's say this, her, her pills, her uh, medicine. It takes a second for me to remember how to spell that. <laughs> she, takes, she takes her pills. But remember, she takes, I understand, every day, every day, every hour, every second, every blah, 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 blah. That's what I understand. Think about some, Think about this. She is, like we said here, what is she doing? I-N-G. I-N-G. She is I-N-G. She is taking her pills, her medicine. Uh, if I can spell the word right, there we go. Taking her pills. We'll keep going. She's taking her pills. It seems like a very, she's getting dressed. What is she doing? She is brushing her teeth, brushing her teeth. He is riding her bike, riding her bike. Hmm, what happened? What changed? What changed? Hmm. We'll take a look before. Okay. Ah. What changed? Today. That, 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 that became. Night. Today became night. It got darker. It got darker. So right now it's it's light, dark, light, dark. It's a, it's a big change in my, in my apartment. It's very dark in my city right now. The day became night. It got darker. She, we can even say she came home. There are lots of things we could say. Hmm? Talk about the changes. Okay. Whoa, it just happened. <laughs> what was that? Well, take a look at this. This happened four years ago. So this was before COVID. What happened? What happened? She washed, she washed her, or we can say washed, we can, she didn't really wash, we can say she cleaned her shoes. Now, I do not do that. <laughs> I don't judge, but I do, I do not do that. Do you do that? I don't know. It's for me. This is, wow, this is a, a big shock. Now, this movie... Uh, was filmed before COVID, before COVID-19. So um, let's try and spell it correctly. Excuse me, I'm using a different keyboard. It was filmed before COVID, before, way before COVID. So it's not a question of maybe she wants to be sick. Maybe she does what she wants to protect herself. We can call these people now. It's not the nicest term in the word uh, in the world. I will say, but we do have a a word in French. We say maniac. In English, we can say clean, just like the word we just used. Uh, clean, a clean. Put the word here up. Uh, clean freak. Now, be careful with this. This is not. A very nice way to call people. Freak is this is this is the same thing as a monster, as something that people are afraid of. It's 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 someone that is different than others. But it's always, almost always a a bad thing. 
It's almost always a bad thing. So here we're giving a judgment about it. A clean freak. Someone who needs everything to be clean, to be perfect, to be no spots, no trash, nothing. A clean freak. We'll keep going with this. What are you seeing? So here we notice that there are lots of there are lots of things that are happening, of course. But one thing that's very that's very particular is that we're seeing that every day, I'll put this in green instead. Every every day. Day. Be careful. Every day, she does the same thing. The same thing. There are no changes. Everything are everything is exactly the same every single day. So, what are some things she does every day? Every day, for example, she uh, she wakes up. Hmm. Every day, what does she do? She eats. Breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> she eats. We can even say she eats. What does she eat? I don't remember if you. I never wrote it, but she eats cereal for breakfast. She eats cereal for breakfast. What else does she do? She. Uh, I'm trying to remember what, <laughs> what she does. She ah. Uh, she washes her hands. She. Uh, what else can we say? She brushes her teeth every day. <laughs> we can say every day. She is a clean freak. <laughs> no, I did not tell you that. Okay, it's a secret, huh? Just between you and me. She is a clean freak. She cleans her shoes. Now, my question, how, why are these different from these. That's strange, no? What is she doing? She is washing her hands. Every day, she washes her hands. Hmm. Every day, every day, routine, routine, every day, she wakes up. Every day, she eats. Every day, she washes. It's just simple. She does it. One action, finished. She does it. She does it. But here, I guess the key word we can talk about is now. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> now. What is she doing now? With now, we'll use that ing. And don't worry. I will ask more questions about that later. Let's go back to the film. I want to ask you, what is her life like? We talked about every day, so we can say that her life is very routine. It's the same thing every day. Every day. I wake up, I go to school, I eat my breakfast, I do it. It's the same thing every single day. Maybe I eat my breakfast and I go to school. That makes more sense. <laughs> it's routine. Routine. Now, for, I don't know about in other languages, in French, there's a, a word, monotone, that's very, 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 very nice here. Mono, monotonous. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there we go, that's an S. Bum, 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 bum. Monotonous, monotonous. Monotonous means, uh, let me show you if I can, let me see if I can show you a picture. If we can go back a few seconds. That's this right. For example, here, we have all of these beautiful colors, right? No, <laughs> not right. They're almost all the same color, the same tone. There is one tone and that is 
gray and black here. Here we're talking about something that is one. I'll put it here, one for people who don't, I can't read that because now I can't. Tone or color. One tone or color. Now, if we think about her life, her life is very monotonous. Bum, 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 bum. Monotonous. There's one color in her life. It's always the same. No, it's not a bad thing, but this is how her life is. Maybe for some people, it's a little, it's a little boring. I know for me, <laughs> I like fast. I like to go very fast. So monotonous is not for me. I need, I'll put it over here. An opposite, the opposite of this would be a more colorful. Colorful. So for example, I'll give you a, a, an example sentence. Um, the woman's life is monotonous because she does the, uh, we can say it does the same thing every day. Oh, oh, I'm gonna see if I'm switch that back. She does the same thing every day. Her life is monotonous, monotonous. Now, Brendan, that's me, prefers a more colorful life. I like to, uh, it's, it's, UK is with a U, US is without a U. So that's, it's, it's actually correct like this. I like to uh, ride, for example, I like to ride roller coasters, uh, roller coasters, fast. Roller coasters, I like to ride very fast. I like um, to try new things, uh, new things, et cetera, et cetera. And on and on and on and on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Her life is very monotonous until whoa <laughs> what happened you see come on an adventure coffee coffee it was the cursive f where is she looking where is she looking now I... <laughs> Is there somebody in my house? <laughs> Looking for somebody. What is she actually looking at? She's looking at the map. She's looking at the map. Oh, why do you think she's looking at the map? Do you think she wants an adventure? Uh, she wants an adventure, too. <laughs> she goes on her bike. I love this bike. So where has she come to? Where is she now? It's a little bit hard to see. It's a coffee house or coffee shop. Cafe, we can say. Cafe. You know, that's what she's doing. She's still a little bit of a clean freak. She's holding the uh, wet cloth, the wet wipe on the door. She does not want to touch the door. This is shocking. This is surprising. It's a big surprise. Why is it a big surprise? Remember one thing about her. Well, first of all, we'll talk about what just happened. She was waiting in line, I guess, to buy a coffee. And what happened? Noah, somebody called her name 
and left the coffee. So she went to get the coffee. She didn't, she did not ask any questions. But what is strange about this? What is strange? Did she, she did, did she order a coffee? Of course not. She did not order a coffee. She didn't buy anything. And what is different between this Noah, she doesn't want to touch anything, and this Noah, she's drinking the coffee that she did not buy, that somebody else bought for her, and no questions. There's... She's using it with no with no tissue, nothing. It's crazy, right? Hmm. Character development. <laughs> what does she see? So we see the word here. Unexpected treasures. I'll put it here. It's a big, this is a key word here. Unexpected treasures. Up, up. Uh, okay, hello. There we go. All right, unexpected treasures. Now, here we have a few words. We know the word treasure. Treasure is something you open in the treasure box. It can be gold. It can be some, a good, a really good thing. A really, really, really good thing is a treasure. Now, if it is unexpected, we have the word un. Un means not. We can make it, we can make it like that. Unexpected, uninvited, unhappy, happy, unhappy, unhappy, not happy. What does unexpected mean? Something that we do not expect. So for example, um, <laughs> my, my birthday is coming. Ah, come on. There we go. I, my birthday is coming, so I can say for my birthday... I am expecting lots of presents. Yes, I'm looking at you, my follower base. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm expecting lots of presents. We can say, my grandma did not expect a dog for her birthday. It was a surprise. She did not think about this. She did not expect this would happen. She did not predict, anticipate. She didn't know this, this was going to happen. Now, my grandma did not get a dog. That's, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know if my grandma can handle a dog. My grandma is, uh, <laughs> is, is fun enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> a dog plus grandma. Oh, <laughs> it's too much fun. Too much fun. So here we have expect and unexpected. So treasures, that we do not anticipate, that we do not know about, we do not wait for, for example. What are the unexpected treasures? What do you think they are? Eh, eh. <laughs> it's a store. It's not only a store. Uh, it is a resale shop. Or we can say a second-hand, second-hand shop. Let's say, uh, ah, what can I, what can I give you? Um, uh, for example, this mouse. Oh, I, I, I bought this mouse, but I don't really need it anymore. I will give it to this resale store, to this second hand store, and they will sell it to somebody else. To sell again, resale, resale. <laughs> Here we go. Now she takes off her jacket. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> what is she doing? She's looking through books. She's looking for something. What is she looking for? Give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. What is she looking for? She's looking for a clue. She's looking for a clue that will get her to the treasure. So if we go back to the clues, oh, 
the clues that we had. We've done a lot today, huh? Uh, here, a clue. She's here. This was her at our house. The first clue was the the coffee. In the coffee, it said uh, unexpected treasure. Treasures. That was her first clue. Then she went to a store named Unexpected Treasures. She's looking for her next clue to go to the next spot. How is she feeling? Other books. Take a look. Take a look at the face. In in film, face is a very very important. The the facials are very very important. So what do we see here? How is she feeling? We can say she's feeling, oh, I'll take a little screenshot. We can put it in here. We can talk about it together. So how is she feeling? Come over here, where are you going? Oh, there you go, it's, it's coming. Slowly but surely, it's coming. There we go. There we go, slowly but surely. So how is she feeling? She doesn't seem very happy, that's true. She seems a little bit maybe unhappy. She she seems tired for sure. <laughs> it's probably the end of this day, just like here. Tired. What about lost? Now, since the beginning of the movie until now, she's changed a lot. There have been a lot of changes that she's getting, that she's gone through. And one thing that that's that's very special about about her is that she never gave up. She never stopped. She never gave up. She never stopped. She never abandoned, we can say. And more, she never gave up. She never stopped. And we could tell on her face that she was, she was excited. But now she's unhappy. She's tired. She's lost. What do you think will happen? See. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> disappeared the person disappeared so what is this the next clue the next clue and what is the clue and we can <laughs> she, she, it's a it's a map the next clue is a map do you think she's excited oh it's a it's a dumb question of course she's excited let's go next step next step <laughs> Oh, I love the bike. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> but here she goes, a grand adventure. Go on that bike. <laughs> I love it. Oh, she's going. One thing about her that's changed. Word adventure. Turn on that. Snowing. Oh. <laughs> 
I love these kinds of films. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think she will find? What will she find? What do you think she will find? What will she find? What what will what will the treasure be? Uh, <laughs> when I taught this class in the past, some people say, "Oh, a dead body." <laughs> It's not that kind of a movie. It is not a horror film. Don't worry. Let's take a look. Question for you. What is she doing? Ooh. Is she, what is she doing? I'll give you the word. Dig, 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 dig. Special thing here. I'll give you a little, little bit of advice. Consonant, vowel, Consonant, three letter word, or any word that has consonant, vowel, consonant, it's double. You write it two times, take a look. It's not she is digging, mm -mm. she is digging, digging. Sort of the idea of, like in Japanese, where you have to say digging, licking, digging, things like this, where you have the, the, the break. It's sort of the same idea. Here, we add a double letter. So we know that it's it's not digging or digging, but digging, digging. She is digging for, yeah, for treasure, for treasure. We're going to dig for treasure. I want the money. <laughs> so what, what will she find? What will the treasure be? So she's digging it up. Okay. She found a box. She found a box. The photo. The photo. And no idea. No. Oh. Does she look lost? Do you think she will give up? Will she stop? Will she give up? No. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the movie continues. What does she see? What does she follow? Here she... What is she following? Following. You will give it a ribbon. Looking for a red ribbon. She's looking for red ribbons. So I'll put it in a sentence. She is following the red ribbons, for example, the red ribbons. She's following the red ribbons. Uh oh. What is she doing? Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Go back a little bit. What does she see here? What's the problem? What is the problem? Here we see a word. Danger. 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 So it's, it's not a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a good thing. Danger. It's a restricted area. Which we say défense. Défense d'entrée. A restricted area. As an area you should not go to. Why? Because maybe it can hurt you. Maybe it can. It's restricted. Restricted. I'll put these uh, these down here. There we go. I'll put these down here. This and uh, interesting. I took I took only one of them. They go restricted. Be careful here. She's starting to have a sense of adventure. <laughs> you can see on her lips. She's smiling.
What now? Hmm. How does she feel? How does she feel? She that she maybe looks unhappy. She maybe looks. She wants to know the answer, but she is a bit. Go back to this word. She's maybe a bit lost again. The one thing is, does she give up? Do you think she will give up? What does she find? Ah, here we are, a red ribbon. At the, what do we call this? Do we know? What do we call this place? So here, what do we see? We see water, right? And what is the water doing? <laughs> the water is falling. This is a, I'll put it all the way down here. This is a waterfall. Water. or cascade, we can say as well. Cascade, a waterfall. We hear waterfall. We have a waterfall. And this is where the treasure is. What do you think the treasure is? What do you think a treasure is? Some people, maybe it's gold, maybe it's a man, maybe it's a woman. <laughs> Who knows? There are lots of things, but let's see what the treasure is. He is the treasure. this ah another person another monotonous person another person who is looking for the treasure who is this another treasure another person who is this another treasure who's that to see Another treasure, another treasure, another treasure. Again and again and again. What changed? We can see lots of different things. We see here in the back, if you can remember the word, <laughs> pot and pan, pan. We see already, is she wearing a, a bathrobe? She's wearing yellow, a sign of happiness, a sign of happiness, joy. But the most important thing is what do we see here? The plant. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> That'll turn into a meme, I'm sure. It's alive. A lot has changed because... She realized that she was the treasure. One thing that's most important that we saw on her face that's very different. Let me see. We see a smile. She finished the adventure and now, or maybe she's starting the adventure now because it's a whole new life for this treasure. So, my question for you, and that's the end of the film.
my question for you is why watch this film? Why watch this movie? What is the connection to English and to learning English? What is the connection? I think there's there's a lot that we can say here. Now you can pause the video if you'd like to, to to think more about it. It could be we can learn a little bit of grammar. We learned a little bit of grammar. We learned some vocabulary. We practiced discussing a little bit. We thought we used the past, the present, the present continuous. Lots of different things that we did, but that's not the reason. This is actually not. This is not a film class that we did, but this is a is a confidence class. Now, I love this class. I absolutely do. What we see is we see if we take this this film and we turn it into language learning, we make we think about language learning. At the beginning, every day is the same. Yeah, we're learning grammar, we're learning vocabulary, we learn sentence structures, we do the same thing every and it's boring and it's monotonous and it's routine and nothing changes. But then we have that little moment of adventure. We have something that connects, that helps us to connect to English, that helps us to connect to the language that we're learning. And so it, it's scary at first, right? We don't know what to do. We don't know how to act. And we start to change as we learn language. And listen, it's, it's difficult. Like we saw, she was unhappy. She was tired. She was lost. Just like we are in language learning, we get lost, we get unhappy, we get tired, but we never, ever, ever give up because we know that this is something that can help us along the way, that can help other people. We can do this, we can do this. So I guess the lesson that I want to help you with today is no matter where you are on your language journey, there are going to be ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs and downs and downs and downs and ups and ups and ups. <laughs> but you do, you can do this. You're doing it. Keep going. Because you have everything you need inside of you. Now, thank you so much for this class. And I'll see you again for another one. Take care. Bye-bye.